Alright, I'm here again with PTS. Now, I'm actually really excited about the changes. Now, I don't know exactly how good they are. If you haven't heard anything, they made boots a lot cheaper. I'm just going to quickly go over this and show the changes. But, um, oh, this is a big one right here. But they, the changes they made made everything a lot more interesting. Now, one of them is with beads. Beads now no longer give both a three second immunity and a five seconds. You can have one, no, oh, five seconds reduction. Meaning if you had, let's say, four seconds left on the ability and you activate your beads, boom. Now you can use that ability because you can, whatever, you get the point. Um, now, what happens with this whole patch? Pen boots no longer exist. So most junglers are getting full CDR. And that's amazing because I can finally do it on Nemesis. I love it. Mm, yeah, you can. I don't know how, but I believe you can. Wait, what's the thing? Oh, that's not that bad. So, I'm actually really excited, and the Ymir probably isn't gonna. And that. Yeah, you have to be careful. We have double hog, I think. I know. But, damn, that. And hog is, um. bug. He's gonna take it. Anubis can die. Anubis can die. That's a that's a interesting. So my guess is it's Anubis jungle. Now that should be a free kill on Jungkui, even though the Emir is level one. Oh, I was trying to get the assist. Now, the best thing about all of this is if you get a kill early, you get boots before mid camps. But if you don't, you generally just get it after. So, you know, that's an interesting aspect. See right now, 600 gold, I can get tier 2 beads. Ymir went full shoes of focus, which you can do. So, it's okay. He should know. I don't know, I'm thinking I'm just gonna get this for Neith. I need to get this for her. Get those small ones. Boom, boom, boom. What? 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 What the fuck? That's so weird. Alright, mid camps are coming up. I can't do anything there. Eh, I'll just take elf bot. I need a... Uh, how much more gold? Uh, 200 more gold. So let's stay for this th thingamajig. Luckily, Zeus is level 5. But we get these mid camps for free. I kind of fucked up with my farming, like a lot. And that's Zeus. Wow, his. <laughs> that's just ridiculous. I just need one more creep and then I'm gonna. 
I haven't been too aggressive. I'm not liking. Oh, I didn't really gank mid. I just kind of like am like here. <laughs> I just kind of showed up. There's an Anubis, so I'm going to try. I want to try this build first. I want to see the attack speed. Uh, my intent for this game isn't to win. It's more to test out the items. Because if you go into the PTS with the intent to win, you're not going to win. If you go into practice and see different things, you're probably am going to win. You're probably going to win far more. And I'm going to. This just takes way too long. They need to nerf that. They need to change that back. Uh, unfortunately, the Cyrus got pushed out by the Vomana. And luckily, ah oh shit, I wasn't close enough. There's so many good targets for me, I'm not doing anything with it. I mean, again, it's a game only started, I could still have done a lot more. What are, what are you doing? Come help me. No one's gonna help me? Okay. okay. Alright, now we just need to get eyes on... There's Zhonghui. That's way too much for me. I don't want to be too close. Oh, that's unfortunate I moved that one. I'm going to back by this and then I'm going to go a little bit different. I'm going to go a little bit tankier than usual. Usually I go into like a Chins or shifters. No, Chins got nerfed, and I don't know how good it'll be on Nemesis. I'll definitely try it out later, but I don't know. It's just the attack speed. Now I don't have to have to worry about mid lane ever again. These are up. I don't know if they're up the entire time, or they just respawn. Yep. Yeah, I'm just gonna get this for you. Not really interesting in fighting with less than 300 health. And leashing this buff is now really, really, really annoying. I don't think I actually have to ult the Zhonghui in that fight. I don't know. Yeah. Neath does have an ultimate, that's all I really need from her. Did Neath die? No, she did not. I don't really care about getting a kill. That's just on the just to help the Zeus because he's so fed now. Helps a lot. Okay. Nice. That I just took two shots for no reason. I didn't know how far. I mean, that was just bad by me. But it helps the ADC. I kind of took a lot of damage for no reason. But that's okay. Nope. I got hit by that. Alright, that's good. I got some protections then. Come on. Come on. Anything from Ymir? No. No, that could have been really good earlier. Ah. 
I don't know where you could have used that, and backflipping there was really bad. That wasn't useful at all. That was a easy kill. That was an easy, easy kill. They just fucked that up really badly. I ulted the Jean Cui because I knew he might tower dive me. Plus, it gave me a little bit of extra health. I did use my, I did have my retribution up, so doing that wasn't terrible. The Ymir, however, is doing absolutely nothing. So that's not that great. Um. Vomana is losing horribly, so that's good. I don't have to really worry about solo ever. Uh, Zeus could be rotating. Just getting eyes in their jungler. In their jungle. Right, yeah, good. Alright, that just does a lot right there. Putting a ward down. Uh, this is coming up. I have my ult up in two. I would like to wait for him to ult, for the Vomana to ult before I ult. Uh, okay. I don't have too much up. Yeah, I'm just gonna get into the far side. Nice slow. I don't have too much to stop him. Shit, I tried to time that better. Nice job, Azus, though. We can actually aggress now. I didn't have this up, which is unfortunate. There's Anubis. Alright, that's good. Now I'm out of sight of his reach. He's not on the map, so that's fine. So I got out of that really fairly easily. I just had to juke his um his wrap. When I juked his wrap, then there was nothing else for him to do. I'm just gonna get beats now. Uh I'll pick up two wards this time. Uh, that was unfortunate because it was a gank, 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 gank situation. I couldn't do much at certain times, or I mean, like I may have been able to do a little bit more, but my cooldowns were heavy, or well, not heavy. They were uh, rather high. So, and I didn't know exactly what, how uh, much commitment people would put into that fight, and it was my lack of awareness overall because I didn't notice what the um, the Zeus was doing. They should have that in mid fairly easily. There's Anubis. They're aggressing, so. I didn't need to beat that. Alright, so they got full on hit by that Anubis ult. That's unfortunate, but predictable, and it happens in the PTS. So you can't take anything like, oh no, this happened, oh no, that happened. But so I'm just gonna wear that. Uh, we might be able to actually aggress on this AMC. Nah, Athena's there. We don't have a Ymir. Uh, Osiris is probably gonna take my speed off. I can't stop him. So I'll just get full CDR. He's not doing much besides. I mean, he won his lane really hard. I uh, probably will benefit him a little bit more than it will benefit me. Though I would appreciate the experience. Oh, I didn't get the experience. Oh well. I probably could have dashed if I really, really wanted to. Uh, he can have that. Uh, let's just look what's going on mid. 
I'm gonna one creep away, creep away. So I'm just gonna. I should be able to get the experience, right? No, no, I can't. So okay, so they did lower that. That's good to know. All right, that's good. The support. Yeah, it's fine. That was actually really good by the Zeus. Neath honestly shouldn't be losing to the AMC. Yeah, AMC has really good wave clear, but they just buffed Neath. Neath generally does really well against AMC. But she does that kind of shit. So, yeah. That's understandable if you're always going to constantly use your. Nice space pass of this. And they did take the red buff, which was predictable because I haven't taken it at all. So uh, when an enemy comes by, they're like, oh hey, a free red buff. Um, unfortunately, Osiris got pushed up. He hasn't been buying too many wards from what I could tell. But the Anubis is more farming than I am. That's why he's more gold than me. It's not that he's changing the game too much, it's just he has more farm. I mean, he's taking his buffs. I wasn't going to go help the Osiris even though I did notice he was over there because of the fact that he should have not been there in the first place. Uh, how much more gold do I need for... Seven, no, okay, so 700 more gold. Oh, yep, that's an ult from Athena. And right lane, Zeus should be over there, but... Come on. Yeah, they've lowered that. That's absolute shit. Alright, that's really good. Oh, I'm dead as fuck. I didn't see the Jean-Cui. That's because of lack of wards. But as long as they clean up, it's fine. Uh, I don't need to sell anything because that's actually a really good tier 2. Now that's worth because I was a 2 for 4. And we... Or 4v5, though I could have done something different as I did not see Jean Kui on the map. So my that was a poor retribution by me. Um, mm, why? We're getting Gold Fury. Uh, the Cyrus build isn't too bad. He went Witchblade into Rune Fortress, which is better in my opinion. Now I'm very close to getting uh, that, but I just rather get great purification beats because in my opinion that would have saved my life there. Now the Osiris is level 16, three levels higher than me, so getting the speed buff on him would benefit him more than it would benefit me. I am at the same amount of gold as the Anubis, and I did get the um, Mechanton. The reason why that's this, this is like it is, is because I'm not focusing on farming, I'm focusing on getting my team ahead, meaning I have more assists. As you can tell, I have been part of 12 of the 18 kills, meaning a majority of them happen when I I was there for the majority of kills, and that's good. Now, could I have gotten more kills? Yes, but I used it my abilities more towards setup because at the start of the game, you can't take advantage of your slow, but your teammates can. Well, now, we don't have too much hard CC now that Ymir is gone, but we do have a lot of sustained damage. I'm going to have full CDR rather soon, and if we just grouped up and fought, we could win. Okay. That's not gonna... I can't do that. If Zeus isn't gonna go over, then... that This is just comes down from the Zeus not rotating. Yes, the Zeus is level 19, but he's not doing anything. I can't go that way or I will die. So I'm just gonna back and get this. That also comes down from the lack of enough awareness. And awareness in general. So 
So a few things have definitely changed from what's going on. Now, I generally don't go this tanky early on. I need to get rid of that. My bees are down, so I kind of don't want to fight this alone. That's Hog 3 down, but we can't take advantage of it. Our ADC isn't here, and our team's split up, so we can't do much. They've taken our red several times because of the fact that the... Yeah, because you're ahead. We have no mid-camp awareness because our Zeus doesn't know how to rotate. Though he is winning lane, so that's okay. No, why? Laning phase has been over for 10 minutes. I've been helping other. I just need to do my own thing and farm. We are winning as a whole, but the fact that I am 200 gold down is because of my lack of mid camp control. You don't need my help as long as you're not pushing up to their tier 2 without wards. That's your fault. I'm not going to help you. Now, I do love C full CDR and M because everything is up faster. I could have rotated more, but a lot of times I would need Zeus to help me because of the poor situation we are in because of the Ymir leaving. Now, I can't say everything on that. I don't want to push up past this at this point because I just saw people in the vicinity. So I'll just get rid of these and I'll help Nath finally. He's dead. Alright, Nathana did not ult. Ah. Nope. I ulted. Mainly... Uh, yeah, they're gonna out-rotate us by a lot. So... Hmm. I wonder why the Ymir left. He was only 0 and 3. He bought that, but it's whatever. No one was actually complaining at him. Uh, I'm going to need three times already. Yeah, this is just going to happen. It's not going to be an easy match to win. Um, we can't win this if the Osiris rotates. Like, that's what we need. Now they're going to fire it. No, they're not. Hmm. If the Nibus is taking my speed buff, he should die for it. I'm not going to help the... Again, I'm not helping the um, Osiris because of how pushed up he is. It's pointless. We shouldn't be that pushed up when it's a 4v5. We can still win this as long as we play a 5. Um, hmm. Now, there is a lot of severe like a pen item, so I think execution will be much stronger. And this is, yep, what? It's because you're not doing anything? Besides just being in your lane? I mean, the Anubis still has just it's still going to be far higher level to me because, again, he's focusing on more farming than I am and mid camps. It's. Okay. Yeah. You're dead. No, you're not. He only has tier 1 sprint. Alright, there. I knew she was leaving, so I just... I know her taunt's not up yet. No need to beat that. Because under hard CC, my passive actually kicks in. So, it's fine. Alright, Osiris finally got tier... Two. Um, I possibly be good at doing a lot more. I've been kind. Of, I mean, there's a lot been more solo kills. 
Unfortunately, my rotations now have been kind of lacking. For example, we have no wards. And here's the start. It's not, I'm not going to continue tracing that. Uh, Nibis should be in the vicinity. Yep, there he is. Alright. Oh. I just did that for the extra movement speed. Alright, good. He's getting that. We probably can. No, we can't do it. I don't want to fight. Because I need to get. What is my build? I want to get my build going. There. I should have probably bought wards. Hmm. Yeah, I probably should have bought some wards. Now, what's happening is. The Osiris is finally starting to do a few things, so we can take advantage of that. He is Osiris and he is very tanky and does a lot of damage, though he has no mm, presence, no actual defense. So yeah, kind of understand why people want to focus him. Oh, hey, and these popped up. Now, again, need to be really careful because it takes a long time for these to spawn. You can't use an ability. Like, don't immediately use Havoc. Do not, because you're going to miss it, and it's going to take forever for you to get it back. But hey, our first time in getting mid camps. I believe. The dream is real. Oh, that was actually really close. I want to go on Jean Kui. That's good. I knew uh, I don't have chins, so the damage from Osiris and Zeus would be more than enough. I just zoned. Um, I just killed Jankui back because I believed everyone else would have it because of the fact that we already killed Anubis. So I kind of got lucky there, and I probably should have actually gone to the fight over there. I can tank this easily. We're probably going to win this. Unless we throw. Mm. I still need to get in the habit of buying wards, so I'm going to have to do that. I'm not level 20 yet, which is saddening. Because it honestly should be. Uh, oh well. I should be able to get to level 20 really, really soon. Just after these. I don't want to get. Uh, I want to get Hawk 3 as soon as possible, so I'm not going to hog this. And then it will just set up for Fire Giant. Let's see, level 20 after this. I'm just going to go to the wave in case the Cyrus ever wants the blue buff. I don't really know. Most of Osiris players do not, but with this guy's place, I don't know if he actually knows how to play Osiris. Uh, no, that's an ult. And he juked it, rather than... There's no reason for me to ult this. I... Uh, I'm just poking her out. My ult is up in 40 seconds. I don't know why he didn't TP in. Honestly, Osiris should have just TP'd. Unless it was down. I knew they couldn't kill me because I knew the taunt was down. So I, 
that's why I was in that situation because I knew there was no way in hell they could kill me. We have a hawk there. I'm still gonna get it. Uh, unfortunately, uh, oh well. The this is actually really risky. The, Nubis isn't doing much. I do have 26, so he's only not been around 13 kills, which isn't terrible. My presence in the early game could have been better. The reason why I don't have Witchblade is because I think, ooh, which uh, Cyrus already has it. That should be a free kill on Anubis. But no, he's being smart and running. And there are four people there. Oh, yeah, no, 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 no. Ho, ho, ho. Okay. Go on Anubis. He's. No using. No need to. Neath targeted him, so I had to ult him. Not, it'd be bad just to ult him. Oh, that's a gem of isolation. Ah, that was kind of a really, really bad ult by me. I don't know. That was really disoriented. Disori- Yeah, unorganized. Boom. I don't know why I was trying to say something else. But yeah, that was a very disorganized team fight. But... It's not end of the world because we do have fire giant and I honestly don't know who I should hold it in that exact situation we did the win the match I probably have to look back and go on it again but to me there wasn't exactly a distinguished target so I kind of ulted someone tanky and kind of went for it um, over uh, my opinion on what happened, the Cyrus never rotated, so it wasn't that great. Zeus, again, never rotated, but they did destroy their lane. So, yeah. I mean, Zeus did a lot because no one stopped him in the early game. And then basically said, hey, here, you can have all the farm in the world. Yay! So that's what happened with Zeus. Um... Sorry, it's never rotated. I don't know why he went running shield blade and have enough magical damage to actually make a difference for it, or for one to stop it. I mean, I guess it would hurt them because they're behind. But other than that, I don't really know why. Why who'd want to do that? See, overall, my damage wasn't fantastic. I wasn't in too many fights. It was, again, we didn't really have too many fights. It was never really a, a team fight thing. It was more of like, oh, we're going to do this, and then we're going to do that, and then this. So, I never get to go, never got to get my damage going. I don't know exactly how it will work now, because generally I would have gotten a lot more damage off of that. But I don't know how everything's going to go. Plus, it was before we so it was a little bit different situation. Yeah, there are a lot of things I could have probably done. That were different this worked because i only died two times honestly i don't think i should have died one of those times um i could have gotten at least three more assists four kills um i know that for sure um wards i kind of stopped placing wards because i'm like okay the cyrus got a lot of free farm slash poke damage on the vomana and it, in the dual lane the zoos just so again, no one stopped him. I only took 7,000 less damage than um, Osiris. He mitigated a lot more than me, thank god, um, because he was in a lot more fights. Zeus mitigated half the damage I did, and he took 5,000 less. And I had protection through the halfway point, so yeah. They didn't touch him. That was literally their fault. I don't know why the Anubis never tried to do anything. Because it's a beats one. 
Like, he didn't sprint for the most part from what I saw. But you know what? It's fine. Now, my opinion of this build is it would be not terrible. Execution would lower their damage. No, their damage, their protections. Uh, I'm not really entirely convinced. I want them to add another attack speed item that does damage, not just like a Haze and Fatalis or Witchblade or anything like that, because then there aren't enough attack speed items in the game. There's a lot of ways to reduce one's attack speed to uh, have cooldown, but there are not too many great ways to actually get attack speed. There's Executioner, and I really don't think Aussie's that great now that Pen Boots is no longer have actual pen, or Worry Tabby no longer has actual pen to it, so that makes it, I mean, I don't see them buffing Boots anymore because I think Boots is actually a really good place without that pen, because the pen was a huge portion of it, of that. And I do like this build because my attack speed is fine with that 25% attack speed. Now the fact that uh, Quinn's lost 10% attack speed, that could be bad. I'm not sure. Again, I don't know. Um, see, 15. I just think they could give more. I don't really like. Um, what's the other one? Shit. Um, oh, Ikeval. Yeah, I don't really like Ikeval. It gives 30% attack speed, 10 physical penetration. For each successful basic attack, increases your physical power by 10 and reduces your target's power by 10. From items by 10 for 3 seconds, maximum 3. It's okay. I guess I'll have to try it. Um. I don't really think it's big enough of a difference. I mean, then again, if you have... I don't know if that passive stacks with Witcher Blade. Plus, it's very... Not situational, but it doesn't work against... Uh, it doesn't work as well against Magical God. Sorry, I had to reread that for a second because I said... I thought it just increased it for a second. You're a physical power, but I'm wrong. So that's a little odd to me. It doesn't fit right. Well, you know, with execution, you can do it against anyone because it doesn't matter. But anyways, that's the video. Really long. I think this patch is very interesting. I think they need to change the items a bit more. More variety on attack speed and more variety on lifesteal. Not really variety, just change it a little bit. Like I think they can buff lifesteal just a tad bit. Maybe like 100 or 150 gold, maybe 200, I don't know. Um, cheaper. Um, they had a lot of defense, which is fantastic, and a lot of variety to the game in general. And so on and so forth. Anyways, way too long. Gotta go. Bye.